Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you how to change out your mirror on your 1994 through 2004 Ford Mustang. So if your Mustang has the Mach 460 or Mach sound system, then the first thing you're going to want to do is take off this speaker. Uh, and you want to just basically take off the cover here. So you want to get a flathead screwdriver, you come over here at the very, very front angle and pry on it a little bit until it starts to pop off and you're just basically pulling it straight back towards you. So try to just get behind it. There you go. Okay. So inside here there's a Phillips or cross point screw that we're gonna go after. Just a regular screwdriver in here and take that out by turning it counterclockwise. With that screw removed, you'll be able to lift this assembly out. And now we're going to unplug this connection by lifting up at the top of that connector and then pulling it straight out. Okay, so I was able just to lift the top of that tab there and then pull it out. Now your Mach 460 or Mach tweeter is out of the way. And we'll go on to our door panel here. So what you want to do is reach in here, you can usually just this, do this by hand, if you have to get a screwdriver back in there. And we're going to go ahead and just pull this out. Now it does have a clip that goes straight down in there, so as you rotate it out, then you'll want to pull upwards. So as you lift upwards with this, you'll see that the clip goes kind of straight down into there. So you'll want to rotate out and pull up. Now on the back side here, it's two more Phillips screws that we'll take out, one on each side, and that'll allow the wiring to stay in place um, and separate this door bezel. Okay, so with these Phillips screws now removed, just slide this whole harness out buttons and everything just kind of stay there. So once the switches are detached, there's the mirror control here. You just put a screwdriver under here to lift up and then remove that. Like so, and just pull it apart. See this plug comes off. And set your door pull aside. Next we're gonna go after the screw right here, another cross point or Phillips. And there's actually two of them, one here and one here. So take those out. Now on the front of the door panel you have one of these Christmas tree clips. Kind of just a flat piece that you need to get some needle nose pliers behind. It's a good idea to get a rag here too because you're gonna be prying on it. So you don't want it to scratch, scratch up your panel. So that's how you just pull that out. Just so you can see what it looks like on the back side, there's all these kind of hook shaped plastic uh, kind of hook deals. And that's how the door hangs on the panel. So once we're at this point, we can just lift directly up on the door panel. So you want to pop it free on the back and the front and just lift the whole panel up and out of the way. So as you come around here, just start lifting. Okay. Now there is a, another panel here that you can take off if you pop it out, but uh, it's not very necessary if you're just sliding the door off. We'll go ahead and just lift this whole panel. And then you have to just slide it forward off of the door handle like that. Now the uh, panel is off the car. So now with the door panel off, to disconnect the power, you just lift up on this little tab right here. And as you lift up on it, then you'll just slide the electric uh, connection out. Then there's a little Christmas tree tab here that you just pull out on to release it. So you pull that all the way out, it'll be free. 
Then you have three 11 millimeter nuts here that you'll take off. So as you take these off, it allows the mirror to be free. And then you can just take the mirror off. And then it's basically the uh, reverse for putting it back on. Just put it back through the, put the, the mirror back through here with the three 11 millimeter nuts back on it. Punch this back in, and then reconnect your power. Okay, so I lined up the door panel. I found it easiest to make sure you put the bottom ones in first, put the panel kind of in this way to start to hang it and then lift it up and then rest it on this ledge here. And that way you get all of those clips to line up and get put into place. Then just push down on it, make sure that it's firm here. You can feel along the bottom, make sure everything feels like it's in place how it should be. And then you know that uh, you got everything in. Then go ahead and uh, start reassembling. Go ahead and just push your Christmas tree tab back in. And just put it in that hole, make sure it lines up and push it all the way in. Then move over to these two cross point or Phillips uh, screws. Put those in. With those screws in, next we'll take our bezel here, or door pole, line uh, the wiring up in here and add our two screws into the front and back. With all the wiring reconnected, go ahead and slide this back in. Remember you have that straight clip that goes there and then the clip at the top. So line it up towards the back first and just work its way back in. And then just push it in here. Now reconnect the uh, tweeter. Okay, just plug that in and heard our little click. Now we'll just set the speaker back down in here. Make sure that little white piece is lined up for the screw to go back in. Just make sure that the post on the back of this actual tweeter went into its hole there. Then we'll just go ahead and add our screw back in here. Okay, with that nice and tight, not too tight because it's just a little plastic piece you're screwing it into, go ahead and put the cover back on. And just clips back into place there. And uh, now you are pretty much all done.